In the aftermath of two tornadoes that hit southeastern Kentucky, killing at least 19 people, there have been questions people have had on their mind. One, did cuts at the National Weather Service impact response times? And two, did alerts for these storms go out to people in the affected areas? I'm Andrew Henderson with the Lexington Herald Leader, and this is what you should know about the May 16 storms in London and Somerset, Kentucky. The National Weather Service's office in Jackson, Kentucky, which covers Laurel and Pulaski counties, is short at least seven positions and does not have enough people to staff the office during the midnight to 7 a.m. shifts, and this is because of budget cuts from President Donald Trump. NWS officials have said that the office was fully staffed the night of May 16th when the Weather Service predicted a series of strong storms moving through Kentucky. The office was staffed because other NWS offices stepped in to help, creating a stopgap for the loss of personnel. At least 90 different alerts, including tornado, flash flood, and severe thunderstorm warnings were issued for that coverage area on May 16th alone. This includes multiple tornado warnings for Laurel and Pulaski counties. Multiple people in Laurel and Pulaski have told the Herald Leader they received alerts on cell phones and mobile devices. One of those 10.30 p.m. alerts for Pulaski County residents said, quote, National Weather Service tornado warning in this area until 11.45 p.m. Take shelter now, end quote. Some of the concern around these alerts revolves around the perceived absence of a PDS alert or a potential dangerous situation alert. A PDS alert can be sent for any severe weather event, including wildfires, but is most often deployed for tornadoes. PDS tornado watches are issued when the forecaster has high confidence that multiple strong or violent tornadoes will occur in a watch area. That's according to NOAA. Think of a PDS alert as the weather service pounding on your front door to tell you that this is a very serious situation. According to archived weather alert information collected by Iowa State University, at least three PDS alerts for this area were sent the night of the storm, with the earliest being at 11.07 p.m. and the latest for Laurel and Pulaski counties shortly coming after mid midnight on May 17th. It's still unknown the exact time the tornado touched down as the NWS has yet to confirm that, meaning it's possible a PDS alert was sent after the tornado touched down. At a minimum, however, we can say PDS alerts, along with multiple other weather alerts, were sent in advance of this storm system. I'm Andrew Henderson with Kentucky.com. Thanks for watching.